Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you've accidentally deleted your network driver and you're trying to get it back. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in Device Manager. Best result, should come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to now locate the network adapter section in here. So go ahead and just right click on that and select scan for hardware changes. And then see if it now appears in this list. If not, we can try resetting our network settings back to default and then see if that makes potential workarounds to resolving that. So close out of there and open up the search menu. Type in network reset. Best match. Or come back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. So before you proceed here, just Please keep in mind, if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby and accessible because once we reset our network settings and restart our computer, you will need those credentials to get back on the internet. So just please keep that in mind before you proceed with the next step. But uh, going back on track here, uh, this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now option. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And you will be automatically signed out within five minutes. However, I would, just to say, I would suggest just saving and closing out of any open programs and applications and then manually restarting your computer. Don't wait for it to automatically restart when you're in the middle of something. You're probably going to forget that it's going to restart your computer and you're going to be distracted and it's just going to automatically restart your computer and you'll lose whatever progress you were working on with whatever other task you were doing in the background. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process for you. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.